Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with my monthly favorites for the month of May. Uh, I am filming this a couple days early, but I'd rather be early than be late because normally it's the other way around and I'm like two weeks late. Especially like when I get to like, the end of the month, I really forget to do a lot of things, especially things on YouTube. But because I had the day off, the next two days off after this, I'm going to take advantage of each of these days and film something for each day. I can safely say that Nick and I are both glad that this month is coming to an end so quickly because it really hasn't been a good month for us. Um, if, you, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook especially, and I did do a couple videos on here as well, then you guys know that I, we had both lost a very close friend to us um, earlier this month and he was actually just laid to rest last week um, on Friday. It was... A very trying month for us and we really never got you never get over losing a friend whether it be in a fight or being taken from this earth physically I mean it just it really shook us and it if anything if there's anything learned from the situation it's definitely that you need to truly grasp every day live each day like it is your last because I'm telling you no matter how cliched it was, how, how, how cliche that phrase is, it really is true. He was supposed to be here already. He was supposed to be here with his girlfriend, and we were gonna go to the beach, and I was, I had, I had done videos already for this week because I planned on them being here. Like, and I had to delete the videos that I made because I referenced them being here, and I told you guys different plans I was gonna have with them, and really and truly deleting them hurt more than I thought it would only because it really just reminded me that he's no longer with us. Each day that you wake up and take your first breath of the day could be the same day someone takes their last. I, it just, you have to live your life to the fullest no matter what. I mean, it just, you just never know and I think that really has been the theme of this month is, you know, being close to everybody as much as possible. So, um, I'm sorry for this, like, really deep dark speech I'm giving you guys but it, I just I've gotten to the point now where I've accepted it but I'm still trying to learn how to live without him being there I'm trying to figure out how to go into my messages and see messages from him and I talking like planning things and realizing that he's no longer going to respond it's just really difficult for us still to this Clearly to this day, it's still difficult for me. We have high hopes for next month for being a really good month for us. It's our one year anniversary month. We got married a year ago next month on the 27th, which is crazy because it doesn't even feel like it's been a year at all. So um, we've got bright things coming in the future, so we have that to look forward to. While we did have a damper at the beginning of the month, I did have a pretty good month in school. I did make president's list again. I got a 4.0 GPA in school, so that was really cool. And then this past Thursday, we had the hair around the world competition at school. I did makeup, and a good friend of mine in class, Keeler, he did hair, and we actually placed third in the competition. Out of all the teams we had, I was very surprised that we actually even placed because everyone looked so amazing and it was just the funnest experience ever. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my body and hair of the month products. Um, this is going to be kind of like an empties video because I have this empty and the other thing empty. Um, so the game changer for my skin this month has definitely been my Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. This is the oil free formula. My skin last month especially was super out of control. Like, I didn't know what was going on, I just could not figure it out. Um, and then I actually figured out in the end, it was the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation I was using. It was breaking me out like nothing else. Well, thank God I found another replacement foundation that is perfect for me. Um, but this stuff is the exfoliating scrub formula, so it does have the little beads in it that really get deep down to the pores, clear everything out, and it leaves your skin feeling really fresh, very clean, and it, it really, for me, is a big deal when you can feel the clean. Like, I don't know if there's a lot of products that I can really compare this to that really helps you feel the clean, but this really does get deep down to the skin, cleans all the imperfections out, gets all the dirt and me like leftover makeup 
all that kind of stuff is out of your face when you use this stuff and clearly I love it because I'm down to the last like two applications of it so truly this has been a game changer and if you can see my skin right now no foundation my skin for the most part you see like one or two pimples couple places like one here one here that's it everything else is pretty pretty nice looking for the most part the last week of April into the whole month of May has really been a very big uh, hair dyeing thing for me. I've been coloring my hair all month, if you, I feel like. I really wanted to get a product that would really help keep the color vibrant, but at the same time repair everything and cleanse my hair of all the like toxic stuff inside of it. Um, I did repurchase these because I love the clear brand. I don't know who makes these, but it just I love this brand. Uh, this is the Clear Scalp and Hair Damage and Color Repair Nourishing Conditioner and Shampoo. Um, these were buy one get one free at Walmart. They were actually in a package together. And I was very confused because it was $4.98 for just the shampoo. But then I saw the pack and I was like, this has got to be like $6, $7. It was $4.98 for both of these and they're both full size. So I bought three of them <laughs> because I love these. And they truly make my hair feel very, very, very healthy. They give my hair shine, and they really keep the color in my hair vibrant. And we all know that I love the really crazy colors. The blues that I have in my hair look amazing. And my hair is purple up top here, you can't really see. But my hair goes from a purple into like a really pretty like turquoise to a deep blue. Um, but these, this, this stuff, this system keeps my hair looking, feeling, and smelling amazing all month long. On to beauty. So. Um, palettes for this month. I've definitely been using the crap out of all three of the other two right there. Uh, the new Hard Candy Smoky Eyes eyeshadow palette. There's a smoky eye, a sultry eye, and a neutral eye palette. I have all three of them right there. You see the pink tin right there and the gold one? Those are the other two. This is the smoky eye one. This is the one that I've been using the most this month. I adore these. These are super pigmented and they're $8 I think each at uh, Walmart. Hard Candy is sold exclusively at Walmart, so if you can't find them anywhere else, that's why. These are super pigmented eyeshadows, guys. Like, Hard Candy normally is never this pigmented, in my opinion. These are. And the packaging itself is actually very, very, very sturdy. These are metallic, like a metal, almost tin. So, uh, they're very, very sturdy for travel, and these are magnetized, which some people get kind of worried about because magnetized don't really work that well sometimes, but these are actually very very sturdy they take a little bit of a lot of pressure actually to really get it to lift up so if you're traveling and you want to bring these I would not worry about these opening up when they throw your bag into the undercarriage of the plane which we all know is kind of like that traumatic moment when you're watching in the plane them load your bags you know you have makeup in the bag and they're like throwing it just carelessly onto the plane like maybe it's just me but I have a heart attack every time I had a big BH cosmetics haul the beginning of last month so if you want to see that I'll link it down below for you guys but this was part of it this is the dark rose palette I know I'm late in the game on this palette guys but I've got to tell you right now this is probably one of the best palettes I have in my collection I thought that the selection of the colors was actually kind of random and I wasn't sure it was gonna work out but these are super super nice nice eyeshadows um, I love BH Cosmetics eyeshadows in general like they're just amazing to me so when I saw this palette and the color variations I was like that's kind of weird because you have greens neutrals you have an orange uh, you have pinks purples it's really random the color selection in this palette but they are super pigmented my favorite is the purple because I love purple eyeshadows it's just a really good palette and honestly it's become one of my go-to palettes to use for days when I don't really know what I want to do for my eyes so I'll just sit and play around with it so yes I definitely love this palette this month and then I have two more BH Cosmetics products so one is an actual eyeshadow palette um, this is the party girl palette this is limited edition there are 40 eyeshadows in this palette and I'm gonna tell you this now I do not need any more eyeshadows but this palette again is really really weird as far as the color selection goes you have greens to uh, taupes pinks reds oranges uh, one random bright yellow it's a very random palette but it really is that palette that I know I can go to and I'll find a shade that I can really use with every look so I thoroughly enjoy this palette and then I've also been loving the crap out of my uh, glamorous blush 10 color palette um, these are blushes, guys, and these give you so many, so much product. I've been using this one right here mainly. This is a, a pink lilac -y shade. Just because it is spring, I like to use springy colors when it's springtime. Like we like to use uh, fall colors for fall. Um, but I've been using the crap out of this on my clients, and I've at least sold probably 
a good dozen of these palettes. So BH Cosmetics, if you're watching, if you see an influx of these being bought, you're welcome. Also for the eyes, I've been using the crap out of my ColourPop eyeshadows, clearly for good reason. I have one here in Kathleen Light, which came with the um, Where the Light Is palette that she came out with with ColourPop, which is like the best foursome from ColourPop ever to have been released, in my opinion. Just in my opinion, guys. Um, and then I have Ibiza here. Ibiza or Ibiza? I don't know what it's called, but it's Ibiza. And it's this beautiful, super pigmented, creamy, turquoise blue. And I've been using the crap out of it all month. Lastly, for the eyes, as far as shadows go, I do... I, I've been loving this NYC City Proof 24 Hour Waterproof Eyeshadow Stick. For oily lids, these do not work very well because I had a client who had oily lids and I put this on her lids and it slid right off. But if you have lids that are like mine, just normal, um, medium to no oiliness, these work beautifully. <laughs> on your lids. They stay very well and they make a beautiful base for the shade Ibiza and the ColourPop eyeshadows. I use these two together. I'll lay this on first and then put the ColourPop eyeshadow on and it just makes it 10 times brighter. These are long wearing. Um, I wouldn't say 24 hours because I don't sleep in my makeup so I don't know if it would last 24 hours but I do know it lasts me for a good portion of my day and it made my, it made my eyeshadows last as well. The ones I actually laid on top of these. So love these. I'm going to tell you right now, NYC Cosmetics has really been um, upping the ante with their qu their quality of their products. I feel like they've been revamping everything, re-releasing things, because even their lipsticks, I'm going to show you guys one in a couple minutes actually, have just been so amazing lately. I just, whatever they're doing, they need to keep doing it. I want to give honorable mention to the e.l.f. glitter uh, primer. This is an amazing product. I use this for my Egypt to look for the uh, hair on the world competition and it really made the glitters that I applied on my model stay all day. Like her makeup stayed for the longest time. I did her makeup around like 2.30, 3 o'clock and the competition was at 7 and the competition lasted for a couple hours. So we were there for a long time and this lasted on her face with the golden like sparkles on it for forever. Another honorable mention, um, mainly just because they're brand new, I only haven't really used them as much as I'd like to. Uh, yet, so I can't really give you guys a good explanation as to how they work, all that kind of stuff, how long they stay. So I'm going to mention these to you guys because I have used them once or twice, and for right now, I do love these a lot. These are the limited edition uh, Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Glow Trios. This one over here is in the shade Fair Trade Coffee, and this one over here is in the shade uh, Solar Powered. Solar Powered, I think I got the lightest and the darkest of the three that are available. The only one I'm missing is Sol, um, Sunset Junction, and I'm, I will have it eventually. I'm missing that one, but I think I had the lightest and the darkest of all three of them. Um, I use this one mainly because of the highlight is just stunning. Super pigmented, and it, it leaves a beautiful natural glow to your cheeks. Um, solar powered I find to be more effective for deeper skin tones, so I use this for my deeper skin toned clients. Um, this one I would love to use myself and to my lighter skin tone clients, but this one is actually very, 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 very nice. And they are long wearing, I do like that about them a lot. And they just really are a really good selection of different little trios, and they're very convenient as well. Another great multi-purpose product. This is the Pink Sapphire Dermal Mineral Powder. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be a highlighter, like I just said, but it was, um, well, it is a very shimmery product, so I do use it as a highlighter. It is more of a natural toned highlighter because it is pink, um, and it really does leave, a, like again, a really pretty natural uh, sheen to your face. For foundation of the month, uh, like I said earlier, uh, my skin was breaking out really bad last month because I was using the Match Perfection Foundation. This is the brand new Fit Me Foundation, the Matte and Poreless one, and I'm going to tell you this now, this is the Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Not wearing it right now because I really just didn't feel like wearing foundation today, but this foundation is absolutely amazing. It leaves my skin when used um, alongside a pore minimizing primer. It really does create a very flawless finish on your face, and for the most part, all these skin shades I have available, the skin tone shades I have available are very, very nice and really do cover all the ones I would think would be that would need to be available for everybody. Mine is in the skin tone 235 Pure Beige. This is a little bit light for me right now, so I do need to get a darker one and probably mix this one with the darker one, and then I'll make my perfect shade for 
me. So, but yeah, love this stuff. All right, the last two products I have for the eyes um, is my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Mine is in the shade dark because I have really dark eyebrows and very dark hair naturally. As you can see, I use the crap out of this, but it's not going to be for my eyebrows. I actually use it for my eye um, shadow looks. This is an excellent matte, really light brown um, crease shade. I love this shadow for a crease shade, but I do use the wax for what it's supposed to be used for. This is for my eyebrows. As you can see, it's very dark, very pigmented, and it really does a good job of keeping my eyebrows down. Lastly, for the lips. So... For Balm, I've been loving the Chapstick um, Tropical Paradise Collection. This one is in the shade or the scent Mango Sunrise. I found these at Walmart and they're like two for a dollar there, so I picked up all the ones that were available. My favorite one, which is actually in my purse out on the hanger right now, um, it's the same collection, Tropical Paradise Collection, and it's the one in um, Watermelon Splash. That one smells... <sighs> Amazing. Um, but these are so hydrating on my lips. My lips feel so good for hours. I love these. And I do have quite the collection growing back here in my balm section. So yeah, love those. Um, another product from NYC that I've been obsessed with is the NYC Expert Last Lip Color. This is in the shade Red Suede. This is honestly my holy grail red lipstick for this month because this is super pigmented. It looks pink. It's super pigmented, super creamy, and while I'm talking about lips right now, I'll also bring into the you this um, Jing Eye Velvet Shine Lip Jewel. I got this in my Boxy Charm box, and this was from Walmart. Um, these both are excellent, excellent, excellent products. These both do not substitute hydration for color. They're both super opaque, they're both super hydrating, and they last a very long time my lips. I'm right now wearing the Jing Eye one because I do like this one a little bit more than this one because it's a little bit more of the pinky side, but this extra last one is just beautiful. So that is all I have for you guys for today. I thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to be reordering and resubscribing to BoxyCharm next month. Um, I, I think I told you guys in my last video that I really wasn't interested in the May one. It just didn't look too good to me. Um, it just really wasn't that entertaining, but I am resubscribing from next month. So expect that um, for next month as well. I do have some tutorials I want to film over the next couple days since I have the next two days off, including today, um, which is why I'm filming. Um, and I think that's it. So if you don't have me on Instagram, add me there because I'm always updating my Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!